Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Tanya. Welcome to Lappy Mountain Living. Happy to see you guys here. We're going to, uh, if you want, we're going to take you along on all of our adventures and projects. Shit and shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> this channel is going to be heavy on metalwork. So if you hate metalwork, not the place for you, right? Sure, but if you like cooking, art, chickens, dogs, gardening, cats, gardening, tractors, bike riding, then maybe this is the place for you. So hang out, see what happens. Hope you enjoy our show. That booze totally loosened you. Got it, got it. Hey everybody, well it's another day, um, as we've learned it's not the uh, thermostats that are a problem, so we're making a new gasket here, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now, is trace out and cut out a new gasket for this guy, the thermostat housing cover, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to start with that, I want to get that thing together tonight, uh, it's about 15 minutes after I got home from work right now, and I want to get this done and glued up and together so that I can add the fluid in uh, at my leisure. We know the, the thermostats aren't the problem, so we're just going to put it back together. And uh, the next thing I'm going to check is the, the lines that go up to the heat exchanger in the roof of the cab. And I'm going to disconnect them from the engine, the coolant lines that is, and uh, I'm going to try blowing air through them and see what happens. Uh, there's a chance, uh, I suppose, that there's a faulty valve up in the heat exchanger in the roof of the cab. And uh, if air won't go through, water won't go through. So that's a good next place to look for a problem. So okay. that's what I'm doing right now. We got some stuff to track. Yeah, yeah, stuff to track. Hey. Here's Tanya, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning up all the debris from our last seal in here. So I'm just gonna exact all this stuff. Don't want to get as get as little mess in there as possible. So I'm just gonna scrape it along. I see you jam some paper towels in though, so that not not much will get in, and then we can vacuum around the edges there. Yes. Uh, yeah. And there's not a whole lot of crap here. We got them out pretty good, actually. Right on. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go work at that gasket for a bit. Sounds like plans, Dan. It's a bad theory. It's just a lot could go wrong. We'd be cutting these things out all night. I like the punch. Yeah, it would be nice if you could get it where you wanted it. Oh, man. Here, you want my headlamp? No, because it doesn't even matter. The gasket takes up the whole space between the things, so you have no way of knowing where that pin's coming down. Mm -hmm. We're not using this. Right. It was a great idea. Yeah. We're not doing it. Not worth using. <laughs> I just want to freshen up the end of this punch so it's not all jagged, and maybe it'll cut out a nice circle for us out of that gasket there. Whole punch test. I do it three times. I think it's through already. Oh! Oh! That's Dreamy! Mint. That is <laughs> perfect. Yeah, that's mint. See, I'm brilliant. Yeah, it was her idea. It is true. <laughs> bam, bam. Oh, that's perfect. Like nothing. Now we need a bigger one for the big holes. Oh, those will just cut with the knife. Good. 
going to be hard to get accurate with big ones. Well, what I've done in the past is just coat the surface with some oil and then and then boom, and it leaves you a, a wet spot of where you know where the hole isn't right got a stamp basically so what i thought i even tried here i thought okay well when i have it sitting on there like that i sprayed a little bit of uh, rust check in there but it was so runny and everything just like, right under everything so yeah. that did not work at all I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get some thick oil, just put a super thin layer on, and then stamp, and then I'll know where to cut those circles out. So just put some oil on there, and I'm hoping to leave a nice little stamp of exactly where those holes are. There we go. Oh, very nice. Now I'll just draw little circles where I want to cut. Then I'll wipe that excess oil off and get to town. I mean, I think that'll do. I I For a eat. kindergartner? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Close enough. Well, that'll too work. Bad. All right, cutting holes. What did you just say? Nothing. Did you say corners are hard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Are you making corners or circles? Well, it's like a corner that doesn't ever stop. <laughs> right? I guess so. Well, it's exactly what it is. Call one of the grandkids over, they can do it for us. Yeah. Just keep them compliments coming. We love them. We love them. Bless your heart. You got this, baby. <laughs> all right, so I figure after all that riding, we're going to see how Monkey Girl does cutting one out. You're right. There's corners. Yeah. See? <laughs> see? It's not that easy, is it? No. And you got to watch it doesn't run off on you, too, or you just cut the whole thing right in half. Yeah, way through. No, I don't want to do this. You do it. <laughs> it's yours. Uh huh? No, I'll go suck the whole lesson. So you're admitting defeat then. Yeah. Is big, right? I did. Mine's mint. Yours is mint. Fucking mint. I give up. Yeah, okay. Now we're clear. Okay, we're just going to wire wheel this tap to see if it's the right side. <laughs> I can't read writing on it. What's the verdict? Well, most of the rust is gone, but I think I wiped off the lettering too. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to see here's what we got, guys. The, the bolts are so packed up with rust. They, they were tight, fought us all the way out. So I'm going to wire wheel all the rust out of these threads. I'm hoping to find a uh, 516 fine tap so I can uh, chase out the holes in the casting on the engine and then blow those holes out. Then I'll put some green rust check on these things when I put them back in, and then they'll be fine you know, for a long time. Forever. So well, there's one. I mean, uh, this was the worst for the bunch, and you can see. Oh, shiny in there. Yeah, this will fix it up just fine. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I gotta take my glasses off. Yeah, but you're old. I'm you need the glasses. <laughs> 
Get rid of all that rust and the bread's up in Yeah, there. just chase that out, then we'll give it a blow and then with the air, and then we'll give around the paper towel a suck with the vacuum, and then we're good to go. What I was saying was that uh, these holes in this casting on the engine are really deep. So even though this is a taper tap I have, which isn't ideal for chasing a blind hole, I'm still getting plenty deep enough in that I think all the threads on the bolt are going to be engaging with, with clean threads. I think I'm getting deep enough in with this. So there it is. Our bolts are cleaned up and... Uh, Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. The, the holes are the same size, 5 sixteenths, uh, as the bolts. And I'm not trying to say they're perfect, but... It's I, perfect. It went together without any, any you know, fighting or anything. And you can see it's all it's all very tight. There wasn't much to give there. So, yeah, a little pat in the back for Tanya and her ideas. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, oh shit balls. Watch where you're walking. <laughs> enough crap around here. Ooh. There's some crud in there. So I'm going to take this uh, uh, green rust check and I'm going to spray it down the holes these bolts go into, uh, oh, the holes on. in the casting on the engine. Mm. And uh, Fuck. What, what are you doing over oh, there? I got this. I don't have this. <laughs> Mother. Beep. Fuck. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> okay. Suck all the debris out of there. Squeeze my head up in there. Ow. You gotta tilt your light down. Ow. Ow. Well, stop the wind now. It's a little snuggly, dude. It's prickly. You see down in there? Yeah, it doesn't look too... I mean, it looks like old and rusty, but... Sure. It doesn't look like there's a lot you could do with it. As long as... You no, know, you're right. As long as we didn't get shit in there, I'm happy. No, we got no shit in there. Shitless. Put a wee bit of the green uh, rust check, no affiliation, uh, down in these <laughs> down in these holes. Can't see your big hands right Oh yeah. Okay. Well, how about? All right. I don't want to get crazy. I don't want it messing with the gasket sealant. But I do just want the littlest. There. That's all. I could use that on the front door. It's a little squeaky. Well, here you go. <laughs> I was telling you guys uh, about the uh, coolant lines that go up into the cab. This is kind of tricky to get the light and everything. But this is um, the line that goes up into the cab with the hot water. And this has a tap on it. So you can shut it off if you wanted to. Um, and this is where we're working on the thermostats. So I'm able to look right in there. I couldn't get it on camera, but that all looks clear and fine. Um, so before we put the thermostat cover back on, we're going to disconnect that line and the line that brings the, uh, the cold water from the cab back to the other side of the water pump. And, uh, and we'll see if we can blow air through now. So I'm just loosening off the hose clamp here. Probably impossible to get on camera. I, I do have the light. 
No, it's impossible. Yeah. All I see is junk. I can't even see it. This one is in a real prick of a place. Want a hammer? No, no. <laughs> no, no. Start with the feather. Oh, I like starting with hammers. No, no, this is working. I'll get this. I think. Give me time. You need smaller hands. Well, I think we're. No, it's going to want to come. Oh, ow. Damn it. No, it's coming. That wasn't bad at all. It seemed way worse than that. Putting it back on, how fun's that going to be? Oh, it's full of juice. Yeah, here's a bucket. Now, when I blow air through this, if there's probably coolant in there and it's going to come out, I mean, I guess I'll start gentle with the air too, but still, we got to be aware of that. Could make a mess. Coolant in the face. Yeah, stuff like that. Ah, oh, so challenging to see what I'm doing. You need a paper towel. Oh, I think I'm going to get wet again, so I'll just do it all at one time. Clean up, that is. Sure you don't want a hammer? <laughs> I'm good. Tractors don't like hammers. I like hammers. <laughs> So, I'll get ready here. Put the bucket. Oh, it's pissing. Pissing. I don't even know where to go. Oh, so, oh. I got it. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, there's going to be some coolants, man, babe. So, we'll just... What will we do? Well, I'll stand way back and well, you do what you need to do. Oh, no, I think you need to, like, like lead this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jam this between these hydraulic lines. At least it's pointed in a known direction, right? And... Uh, I catch it. Oh, I like just don't catch it. There we go. Mm, kind of. <laughs> well, we'll just get this over with and we'll clean all that up. And then the other one, this one, I'm just going to come here and blow air into this one and see if, uh, see what happens. Sounds like a plan. Oh, a little so, a little something happened. Lots going there. So, I mean, what's upsetting about that is air and water seem to pass perfectly fine through the system, so that blows my theory of a bad valve up in the heat exchanger. Which brings us all the way back around to why don't we have heat in the cab? 
<laughs> Why? So now I need a fresh idea to try out, I believe. Anybody got any ideas? Yeah, let, let us, know. us know. I can feel the air rushing through the valve onto my finger, so there's no blockage in the valve that goes into that pre-thermostat area there. So there's no blockage. I wanted blockage. I wanted blockage. So we keep thinking. So we'll figure it out. All right. Well, that's it for this show, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Metal. Work.